Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Two Phones, back again with another video. Now, I know I put out a, a speed test video about the Freedom Pop 4G LTE. Okay, so a couple of days ago, I got this in the mail, right? So this is how the package looks for the at t GSM LTE SIM card um, from Freedom Pop. And yeah, it's legit. If you haven't seen my speed test video, go check that out. But this is legit, people. Um, really, 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 really legit. Like, when I mean legit, like, the, no throttling. You get the full access. And, um, the SIM card was actually a little different versus the other Freedom Pop SIM cards that I got. Like, with the data only and the global SIMs with WhatsApp Freedom. But, um, yeah. So, this is the package. Uh, you got the 3 and one You got the Nano, Micro Nano, and then the, the big SIM. So, yeah. And, um... The whole setup, and we're going to go ahead and check that out real quick. The whole setup is basically, it's, 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 it's really similar to um, the, the regular one, but you get um, the APN settings, and let's go there real quick. The APN settings for Android, you go to, okay, you go to your, your data settings, you go to cellular networks, so let's go there real quick. You go to cellular networks, hold on. Go to APN, access point names. You put in Freedom Pop, and then you put in fp.com.attz, and I, I'll open it up. The first two, that's all you need to set up, is the, the name, which is Freedom Pop, then the APN, which is fp.com.attz. Uh, so that's, that's really simple. You just go to your settings and, and go to the cellular network, go to APN, and, and type that in. And once once you do that, you're all set up. As you can see, I got LTE. I'm not even on Wi-Fi. Like, you know, like like I usually be bragging about Wi-Fi. So I'm not on Wi-Fi right now. But I will show you guys a little some some, some uh, results I've gotten over the past few days. Check that out. Okay. So yesterday I did some more. And I've I've reached over 46 megabytes down, see down, 10, 12 up. So the highest is almost 13 megabytes so far. 13 megabytes up for upload speeds, and that's very impressive. That's even actually faster than the upload speeds on my home internet. Insane, right? So this this is running the real AT&T. You know how I know? I got these applications. Let me, let me go ahead and show you. I got these applications called Signal Check Pro. For all you that know that don't know, Signal Check Pro. Just showing you AT&T Band 17. All right, so that's legit. The provider is AT&T. Just trying to just trying to clarify things for you. Also, I got the Phonos app, which just basically show you the logo, and once again, AT&T. So this new Freedom Pop SIM card is running AT&T. All right. And um, with this one, you really don't need, you really don't need the um, Freedom Pop apps. I just have them for those that, that want to use the Freedom Pop phone number. You can use the Freedom Pop phone number, but just to let you know, it's really not a real number. It's, um, it's just plugged into the, the SIM card. So you can use Google Hangouts. Um, you can use WhatsApp still. I mean, it's not free, but you can still use WhatsApp. WhatsApp doesn't even use data for real. It only uses data unless you um, making a, a video chat, basically. So you can still chat. You can still message and all that other stuff. Um, like I said, you can use Hangouts, um, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, all that without even touching your data. I mean, the, the only thing you need data for is browsing the web, um, even emails don't even kill data unless you got like a lot of pictures and some. You can always, you know, not display the picture in the email. So that's nothing. Um, another way I can compress data with um, Twitter is by not showing the pictures, and you can just go through your sentence. All you would do is just see the tweets. You went, you would have to click on a link just to, to see the fit full pic picture or video. So people just gotta play around with their with their sentence, man. That's how you. That's how you save on data, and of course, um, another thing that I always talk about is the VPNs. Tunnel Bear, baby, 
it actually works. I used up about 1,100 megabytes of tunnel bear data. So that, that really saved me data. And um, it actually protects you from browsing over the web. But what's really protecting you, you know? So it's, I mean, everything is at your own risk. Even this is at your own risk. But uh, the SIM card only cost me $4.99. And I got free service. Um, if you also download the My Freedom Pop app, if you download the My Freedom Pop app, you can um, you can um, earn 200 megabytes for life extra with the My Freedom Pop app. Um, the Diagnostics app it just basically shows you um, information about your phone, the service, functionality of the phone, um, troubleshooting things in that sort. You don't really need it. Like I said, you really don't need the Freedom Pop apps. But if you want to use it, it's there. And, and like I said, with the the messaging app, um, I'm getting I'm getting 200 um, 200 uh, minutes, 500 texts for free, and then I got like a gig of free data, one gigabyte, well over one gigabyte of, of free data. So, so it's just all various. If you got Freedom Pop friends, add them to your Freedom Freedom Pop list. Share data, earn data. Without paying a dime, so that's that's the way to go. And, and like I said, this by far is the best LTE. Well, not even the best LTE. The best SIM card Freedom Pop has released in the United States. The best. And unfortunately, once again, I said this in the last video. It does not run overseas, so it's it's strictly for the U.S. This um. This GSM LTE SIM card is strictly for the U United States. I don't know why they didn't um, include Canada or Mexico. They could have just said the whole North America, but only for the United States. So as long as you're in the United States, this AT&T SIM card, it's a beast. It's a boss. All right. So, oh, another thing, if you really want to know, um, if you really want to know something, let's see. I think I have the map coverage. I thought I had the map coverage somewhere. Uh, shoot. Hold on. Let me let me check. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all talk amongst yourselves real quick. Let me go find that map coverage. I gotta find a map coverage for y'all so you you all think so you all know it's legit. Well, you know what? I don't even have to find the map coverage. I forgot. Okay, open open signal. That's a that's a great app to you know clarify to to notify you about cell towers. All right, so I got I got plenty of cell towers in um in my area, and it, it shows like AT and T cell towers. It's, it's loading up right now. So there you go. Plenty of AT and T towers. All right, I don't know how legit this is, but I believe it's legit versus anything else. And um another thing you can. Oh, that's what data says. Um, the map. The map for 4G. Let's check out 4G only. 4G AT&T. All right. So it's, it's giving me the... It's, it's saying the max. That's what I can get. 17 megabytes and four... four uh, 17 megabytes now, four up out here in my area. But I've I seen the uploads more, more bigger than that. But according to this, this is like the 4G... And it, it looks spotty, but it's really not. If you go to the some of some of this stuff is inaccurate, but okay, let, let's check this out real quick. Hold on, hold on for a second. Hold on. So as you can see, AT&T covers pretty much the whole country. Even Florida. Even Florida. It covers pretty much the whole country. Look at all that 4G LTE, man. I'm just saying. So with this new Freedom Pop Sam, it's it's a go. It's it's a beast, no throttling. It won't throttle you. Um, you get free internet, free data. Um, you want to know about call quality? Um, well, I, I I didn't use the Freedom Pop messaging app to call and text or whatever like that, but I did use the Google Hangouts, and um, a lot of people were complaining about the 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 echoing. And things like that is taking too long to pick up, but actually it's really not bad. Google Hangouts is it's really not bad on AT and T towers for some reason. Um, one of one of my one of my guys I talked to, shout out to Jose, 
we had a conversation, almost a whole hour of conversation, just you no, know, just chatting. And um, I was driving. We were still talking. Driver still talking. No drops. No no stutters. No lag. And he was like, "Dang!" He was he was like impressed. He was like, "Dang!" They like that SIM card or you know, Freedom Pot LT uh, with AT and T LT is it's like that. It's, it's that legit. I'm like, yeah. So, and then you know, I had another conversation the night before with a lady friend of mine, and she was like, "You sound much clearer now." Um, versus, I guess I was using the HPSA. Um, I guess I was using the uh, 4G SIM card and wasn't all that. So, for those that are skeptical about Freedom Pop now, they're officially something to reckon with now. There's officially something to to be afraid of for all carriers because they're giving you free data. Like I said, I, I got over one gig of free data and that's more than enough for me because Majority, like I said, majority of the apps, I got YouTube Red subscription. That's ten dollars a month, and I get to download as much music. I get to download whatever YouTube videos, movies, whatever, and it won't hurt my data. So don't don't even tell me I need data for browsing the web. And then now you don't even need that with Google Chrome. You don't even you don't even need data. All you have to do is, and I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys real quick. See that download button? Just download the browser, download the website you want, and you can you can use it offline. It won't even touch your data. Um, same way with Opera Mini. I think I downloaded the app. Well, I did. I did have that app. So Opera Mini, you can download, and you know use stuff offline. Um, Google Maps, you can download your maps offline for like up to thirty days, and you get a whole maps and I don't get it man like people are so crazy about data 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 you don't need that much data the, the minimum is one gig the minimum should be one gig and and the max should be about mm, maybe 15 20 I say 15 20 but but people that's crying about uh, getting data caps over 26 gigs what is your problem like if you you do not have a life anyways I'm not I'm not trying to Go into that, but final verdict: Get this SIM card. Get it. The 4G uh, LTE GSM LTE SIM card from Freedom Pop, 4.99. Go click on that link underneath the description right now. Your boy Two Phone said it first. I probably with the first one, um, with the initial first impressions of the SIM card. So I, I haven't seen any other videos yet, but um, yeah, go get that SIM card. I, I don't. I don't care. If, you know, you think you don't need it, if you're on Sprint or you're on Verizon or T-Mobile or something, hey, AT&T is, is still some still some legit. Like I said, it, it was it was a little horrible back in the day. And, and maybe because I was using GoFone. It was probably because I was using GoFone. I wasn't using the full AT&T service. So now I'm using the full AT&T service. It's something to reckon with. I don't see a lot of reviews about AT&T. A lot of people don't talk about AT&T, but they still out there. And it's still good to go. Now they partner with Freedom Pop to give you um, full access to 4G LTE for free. Uh, free calls, text, data, you name it. It's your boy, Two Farms. Holla back. Also, if you want to be a, a Freedom Pop friend, um, you know, hit me up in a private message on YouTube or Google Hangouts. Y'all know how to reach me. It's your boy, Deuces.